Money problems are a big worry for many people. In 2018, a survey showed that even when things seemed good economically, more than half of Americans still felt stressed about money. When the COVID-19 pandemic hit in 2020, it made things worse. People were more worried about money than getting sick. It's clear that money issues are a top concern for many. When the pandemic started, it hurt not just people's health, but also jobs and businesses. Many people lost their jobs or had to close their businesses, making it hard to pay for basic things. Being worried about money is really stressful. What if I lose my job? Or what if I can't pay my bills? This stress is about more than just not having nice things. It's about not being able to afford the basics like food and a place to live. This kind of worry can take over your life, making it hard to sleep, stay healthy, and be happy. It's like you're always waiting for the next problem to come up. In this video, I'm going to talk about six ideas from Stoicism. These ideas won't make your money problems go away, but they can help you see things differently and feel less stressed. We'll look at how these old ideas can help us today, giving us new ways to handle money worries. Let's find out how these Stoic teachings can help us during tough times with money. 1. Get back to basics, the Stoics, deeply insightful about human nature and reality, emphasize the value of intangibles over material wealth. They saw time as the ultimate commodity and personal agency as far more valuable than any amount of money. This perspective aligns with the Cynic School, which also downplayed the importance of material riches. In our quest for wealth, it's crucial to recognize its limitations. Wealth is not only beyond our full control, but also not essential for happiness. Basic survival requires just food and shelter, necessities that most of the global population, even in poorer regions, can access. If you're watching this on YouTube, chances are your fundamental needs are met. Yet for many, especially in developed countries, financial aspirations extend beyond mere survival. It's worth asking, why are we so attached to our current income level? Can we manage with less, even if temporarily? This urge to maintain or enhance our financial status often stems from social pressures like keeping up with societal standards or fears of losing status in our social circles. Roman Stoic philosopher Seneca aptly noted, Fidelity purchased with money, money can destroy. He highlights the fragility of relationships and respect based on wealth. Seneca also warns against the relative nature of wealth. Suppose that you hold wealth to be a good. Poverty will then distress you, for you may be rich, and nevertheless, because your neighbor is richer, you suppose yourself to be poor. This perspective illustrates how our view of poverty can be distorted by comparing ourselves to others who have more. Thus, anything beyond what is needed for survival is, from a stoic viewpoint, superfluous. While having a certain status might be desirable, Stoicism teaches us to be prepared to relinquish it if it becomes a barrier to our tranquility. This principle encourages us to reassess our priorities, focusing on what truly matters for a fulfilling life. By reevaluating our relationship with money and understanding its role in our lives, we can achieve a more balanced and contented state of mind. This doesn't mean abandoning the pursuit of financial stability, but recognizing that our happiness and worth are not solely dependent on it. 2. Prioritize your influence worrying, no matter how intense, cannot prevent adverse events from occurring. This is especially true in financial struggles where we often find ourselves preoccupied with the future, attempting to control the uncontrollable. Our biggest fear may be losing our financial stability and failing to pay our bills. However, a lack of funds doesn't strip us of our most powerful asset, the capacity to take action. Action is rooted in the present, not in the past or future. The present moment is the only time where we can actively shape our future. Hence, excessive worrying is not just unproductive. It actually hampers our ability to act effectively when necessary. 
Rather than being overwhelmed by a seemingly endless array of challenges, it's more productive to break down our tasks and concentrate on what we can do right now. What matters most is our ability to influence and change our current circumstances. This approach encourages us to shift our focus from fretting over what might happen to taking actionable steps in the present. It's about recognizing that our power lies in the here and now, in the choices we make and the actions we take. By adopting this mindset, we empower ourselves to handle financial challenges more effectively, focusing our energies on practical solutions and steps that can make a real difference in our situation. This stoic principle reminds us that while we can't control everything, we can always control our responses and the actions we take in the face of financial adversity. 3. Ask for help The Stoics recognize that every element in nature, including humans, has a role in the larger tapestry of life. We are part of a collective whole, and assisting each other, especially during challenging times, is beneficial for everyone. This is evident in how people come together during crises, such as the COVID-19 pandemic, demonstrating a natural tendency to support those in need. Research also shows that helping others can increase our own sense of happiness. Marcus Aurelius, a renowned Stoic philosopher, encouraged seeking help in his writings. He stated, don't be ashamed to need help. Like a soldier storming a wall, you have a mission to accomplish. And if you've been wounded and you need a comrade to pull you up, so what? This perspective reflects the stoic belief that asking for help is not a weakness, but a necessary strategy in overcoming life's challenges. The nature of the universe is inherently interconnected. We depend on countless factors for our survival and well-being, from the air we breathe to the infrastructure that supports our daily lives. In a world where everything is interlinked, hesitating to seek help when we need it is contrary to natural wisdom. Recognizing our interconnectedness and being willing to ask for support not only makes sense, but is also a testament to our understanding of our place in the world. This stoic idea encourages us to lean on our community and to offer help in return, fostering a mutually supportive environment that benefits all. 4. Remember that you're not alone. It's important to recognize that financial concerns are a common experience for many people. If you possess some wealth, you're already in a different position than a large portion of the global population. In regions like Western Europe, with robust social safety nets, falling into deep poverty often requires a series of misfortunes. Yet, financial difficulties can happen anywhere and can lead to the loss of wealth. The fear of losing wealth is a significant concern, especially for those who have it. Seneca, a wealthy Stoic philosopher and statesman, frequently pondered over wealth and poverty. He understood the anxiety that comes with wealth, the fear of losing what one has. He expressed this sentiment by saying, I may become a poor man. I shall then be one among many, this reflects an acceptance of potential financial loss and an understanding of its commonality. Viewing your financial struggles from a broader perspective reveals that you are not alone in facing these challenges. Countless individuals around the world live in poverty or just manage to get by paycheck to paycheck. Therefore, if you were to lose your wealth, you would be joining a large community of people who share similar experiences. This realization can bring a sense of shared humanity and solidarity in the face of financial difficulties. 5. Prioritize inner peace The Stoic philosopher Epictetus emphasized the importance of inner peace over external matters. However, when faced with financial difficulties, it's common to let these external situations dictate our emotions. This doesn't imply that we shouldn't strive to improve our financial standing. From a Stoic viewpoint, it's about aligning our priorities correctly, actively seeking employment, investing more effort into our businesses, or exploring additional income streams are all valid pursuits. 
The key is to ensure that these efforts do not come at the cost of our mental well-being. Epictetus himself cautioned against letting practical concerns override our peace of mind. If you want to improve, avoid thoughts like, if I ignore my business, I'll lose money. If I don't manage my servant, he'll be lazy. It's better to live with hunger free from grief and fear than to live in wealth with anxiety and it's preferable for your servant to be inefficient than for you to be unhappy. While this may sound somewhat extreme, the Stoics, who valued time above all else, believed that happiness should be our aim under any circumstances. A modern Stoic approach to coping with an uncertain future is the concept of amor fati, or love of fate. This involves accepting and embracing whatever the future holds. This philosophy explored in another video of mine, teaches the importance of finding contentment in any situation life presents. Six, appreciate what you already have finally. We often forget to appreciate what we have, focusing instead on what we lack. It's easy to take many things for granted, not realizing how fortunate we are to have them. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic emperor and philosopher advised us to shift our focus from what we don't have to appreciating what we do have, he suggested. Think about the things you cherish the most and imagine how you would long for them if you didn't have them. But be cautious not to become too attached to them to the point where losing them would be devastating. Life is more than just money. There are so many other valuable things. Your health, your relationships, your freedom, but the greatest asset we possess is our ability to choose. In any situation, we have the power to decide how to respond. This ability to choose our response is invaluable and a source of true wealth. Remembering to value and be thankful for what we do have, including our capacity for choice, can bring a deeper sense of contentment and perspective, especially in times of financial stress. In conclusion, these Stoic principles offer a profound and timeless wisdom for navigating financial difficulties. They teach us to focus on the essentials, prioritize what we can control, seek help when needed. Remember, we're not alone in our struggles. Put our tranquility first and cherish the blessings we already have. These teachings guide us to a deeper understanding that wealth is not just about financial resources, but also about inner peace, resilience, and the richness of our human experiences. By adopting these stoic perspectives, we can cultivate a more balanced and fulfilling approach to life, one that values mental well-being and personal growth alongside financial stability. These principles encourage us to face financial challenges not just with practical strategies, but with a mindset that transforms obstacles into opportunities for personal development and deeper contentment.